Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Riley, and I am a 2012 fellow from Lawrence County, and my business is J1 Insoles. J1 Insoles are a medical grade art support that is an affordable solution to prescription orthotics. Uh, the J1 Insoles for flat feet is different because it corrects in three areas of the foot and if someone has flat feet and they try to wear the arch supports for uh, regular arches, it's gonna feel like a rolled up sock and it's gonna be painful. Because many of my patients have flat feet and the only way they were able to get arch supports is to have to go through a prescription route. I came up with an affordable solution by having an over-the-counter arch support for flat feet. My business was, you know, just kind of kind of in a stagnant stage and I really wanted to you know, try to boost it. I felt like the Dakota Rising program might be uh, a place for me to go to. In applying for it, uh, Brian Walker is very helpful. It is a, a long process in trying to fill out the application. You know, you'd think that most business people would have actually already filled out a lot of these forms and uh, looked at um, their, their business in more detail and surprisingly uh, many of us don't and it was actually a good look at my business by making me fill this out, whether I got the program or not. My cohorts, we just automatically got along great. We had a trust um, that was just built in right away. Instead of working in your business all the time, we talk about working on your business, and, and that's so important because you just you get so blinded sometimes and so tunnel vision that you don't even look at your business as a whole. When talking with other people about their business, I have the same problem going on and I just didn't see it until we started talking about their issues. So it's, it's been really helpful to just really get digging down and finding that hole in the bucket for me. One issue that my cohorts really brought out, you know, I was, I was looking at my, my business for the Jalen Insoles and I kept having the problem of, of not being able to spend enough time with it. Since I'm also a podiatrist, they really got after me and said, you know, why aren't you hiring another podiatrist if you're so busy with podiatry? Just the accountability that we have with our cohort, in a way you just don't want to go back to your meetings and, and let them down. So after uh, the one meeting they said, you really need to do this, I had a podiatrist hired by the next cohort meeting. It's definitely worth uh, doing this process because it'll open up so many um, avenues for you.